We have a question from Gordon. Gordon says, I'm 52 years old and I've been lifting weights since I was 12. Well, take a day off. Oh, oh, probably uh, during the whole time is lifting weights. Okay, I tried to make that funny, but it didn't work. The pandemic forced me to work from home and all those extra hours seated at my computer led to a severely pinched cervical nerve. Wow. Um, you know, I tell, uh, it's funny, at workshops, I was one in England, and I mentioned that uh, writing, uh, I think working on a computer too long uh, does cause problems. But there's this whole group of, uh, I don't even know what the hell they are. They're like, uh, they're either wannabe chiropractors, they hate the work of Yonda, and as nice as I can say it, screw you, Yonda was a visionary. Um, but these guys are convinced that the work of Yonda is worthless. And uh, the interesting thing is at the next day, when I called one of the guys out for critiquing me, uh, the person didn't have the courage to uh, it, it let me know who they were, raise their hand or say anything. You gutless son of a gun. I have stronger words for you. But I don't, hey, if you're going to criticize me in public, criticize me. But, uh, you know, we'll move on. For five weeks, the only resistance training that I could do was strap a belt around my waist and drag a weighted sled forwards and backwards combined with 30 seconds hangs from the chin-up bar. Gotta tell you, Gordon, walking with the sled and hanging, that's a great combination. Uh, I gotta tell you, this is gonna sound funny, but uh, you know, Stu McGill calls injuries a gift. This is one of those times where I read this and I'm like, yeah, Injuries are a gift. I mean, that is a fabulous workout. Um, I, I can. I'm not. I haven't read on yet, but I can tell you this: good things happen because you did what you could do, and number two, you you had two good options: walking with a sled and hanging. To my great surprise, I did not lose any lean body mass over that five week period. If anything, my overall body composition actually improved. God, this. I'm just. So happy you sent this in. Have you had any similar Eureka training discoveries that happened as a result of injury? Uh, Gordon, my brother, loaded carries. Uh, on the cover of uh, Never Let Go, and it'd be nice if I had a copy somewhere. Uh, I think I have one. I think there's somewhere out there. When you look at the cover, you'll see I'm carrying a bag with a sled behind it. But you probably don't notice is I have a glove on this hand, but I have a cast on this hand. My doctor told me I'd never lift weights again. And uh, so I started doing these loaded carries. And thank you, Mike Rosenberg, because Mike was the one that really convinced me that I could improve my uh, grip strength with uh, heavy weighted bars. So he sent me out a set of farmer bars and a set of thick handled farmer bars, which I'll go to my death thinking that was the best thing I could do for my rehab. So yes, first, loaded carries, by far. Uh, number two uh, is original strength. As you may or may not know, I was born with a condition called pistol grip hips. And from the day I was born, I, I was sentenced to having total hip replacements. And uh, I loved the work of Tim Anderson, his original strength. But it was in my rehab of doing those six-point rocks that, uh, so loaded carries, and then the original strength uh, series, uh, which I just did, uh, I don't know, as we speak, what, an hour, 45 minutes ago. Um, those would be the two big ones from injuries, but honest to God, uh, what you're telling me here is, so basically you and I are walking the same walk because if you look at original strength, original strength is loaded carries, loaded carries is original strength. And the longer I do both of these, the harder and harder it gets for me to separate the two out. Gordon, thank you. Um, I can't think of a better way to start off the hundredth episode of this podcast than with that question. Thank you, my friend.